Hello, Cosmos. Hello, the world of Akash. This is Clyde Dev from SG1 Validator. Proud validators on Akash Network, by the way. And uh, today I'm going to show you how to build an interactive application with an AI model, how to build a Docker image to actually run this AI model with the intention of running it on Akash. Uh, as you may know, Akash has a new GPU marketplace currently in testnet. This educational video is actually a part of that testnet. And uh, yeah, hopefully you leave here today with a better understanding of how to actually implement some of these AI models on Akash, how to build an interactive app to connect with them. And then afterward, I'll show you how to deploy them on Akash. All right, first things first, we have to actually choose an AI model that we want to uh, interact with. Um, I've already chosen this. I, I want to implement BERT-based multilingual uncased sentiment. This is a sentiment analysis model trained on product reviews in a variety of languages. And the reason I choose this is because it's not actually present yet in the awesome Akash repo. This is the central repo for all of the different uh, deployment examples of different models and applications that you can easily run on Akash. And currently there's a few of them that are AI related, including this AI chat app or Alpaca, but there is no sentiment analysis uh, model to my knowledge, uh, let alone one based on BERT. So this is the one that we're gonna build on today. And uh, without further ado, let's get the development environment set up. So I would recommend you fork this repo yourself, get, get your own fork. Get get a get a whatever dev awesome Akash. I got mine right here. Clyde Dev Awesome Akash. Let's clone it and let's let's get it. Let's get in there. Let's get our hands dirty. All right. So right now I'm cloning into Awesome Akash. Here we can see all the implementation, all the deployments, but we're making a new one. We're trailblazing right now. And we're gonna go ahead and make BERT sentiment analysis. All right, and let's let's CD in there. Let's see what's going on. Nothing's in there yet. But how about we start with the very first file? Let's make a quick requirements file. What are we going to need to install? We're going to need a Flask to actually build the application. It's a simple framework to build a simple interactivity. We need transformers, which is a collection of uh, natural language processing uh, tools and functions. We're going to need Torch which is uh, built by Facebook, I believe, which is also like a machine learning library that's uh, common that you need, you need Torch to interact with many of these models. And then of course, some Python uh, libraries like SciPy and NumPy to actually kind of decode what this model is gonna give back to us. Okay, requirements are made. Next up, we can go ahead and just build the app. Let's just write the app in Python. I'm not quite gonna go line by line with you to save some time, I already have the code written, but uh, I can give you a high level overview of what's going on. So of course we import some dependencies, initialize the app. What's the model name? We already got that chosen from Hugging Face right there. Um, this is gonna actually, to we're using an auto tokenizer imported from uh, transformers that will actually allow us to tokenize the output that we get back from the model. Um, sequence class classification, here's an important bit sentiment labels. These are the final labels that the model is actually going to apply to the text that we give it. And here I'm setting a couple different routes. One is the default slash that's just going to load the index HTML that we make in a bit. can handle gets and posts, but uh, we're just coding in posts for now. And this will actually use uh, yeah, a submission text box. Um, but we also have a slash predict route with just posts that we can use to test it. And that'll be in the scope of this video. So we can just curl and ping some basic text for it to analyze and it'll give us back a sentiment. And of course, uh, some indication that we're actually uh, deploying the model successfully. So that's the overview of the app, but I'll be sure to include the repo if you wanna analyze it more deeply and you can plug it in ChatGPT, learn plenty. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, make the basic UI that we'll use later. So we'll go ahead and mkdir templates folder, CD in there. And we're going to make a quick index.html. Very simple, just with a title, uh, a submission box that will actually form a post uh, method. And then hopefully the form will give us the output of the sentiment. All right, pretty simple. 
Uh, next up, we have our requirements. We have the app. We want to make a Docker image, though. Of course, we need to make a Docker file to do so. I also just happen to have one ready, just by chance. I got one right here. Boom. We're going to use an official Python runtime as the parent image. We're setting the working directory to app, of course, and uh, yeah, pointing the directory contents into the container. Uh, installing requirements, exposing the right port, naming it uh, logical name. We're just using the model's name from Hugging Face and uh, running the app when the container launches. All right. And that is about all we need to actually get this image up and running. So let's go ahead, docker build dash T, go ahead and put your own Docker Hub username here, should you want to build one. And uh, yeah, let's, let's get it pushed. It's best practice to include a version number with the Kosh because the machines actually, um, the machines actually, uh, cache the images and I forgot to add the infamous period of course so there we go docker build dash t username image tag dot and uh, this is going to take a little while I'll probably I'll probably fast forward through this all right the docker image is built now we got to push it and we're going to push it of course to the same exact place with the same exact tag docker push it's going to take a little while to push this is 4.68 gigabytes damn all right our docker image is pushed to the repo now all that's left to do is to run it quick reminder to include the tag of the image that you're running uh, otherwise you might not that's just good practice. Use the tags. All right. We're running it on port 70. We're setting up some dependencies. Setting up import and all the necessary imports, but we're, we're getting it bussing. We're making it happen right now. All right. All right. And now, moment of truth. Let's pass through the text, I love this product, and see what sentiment it gives us. Sentiment, very positive. What do you know? It thinks that that's a positive thing to say. What if we get, what if we said, I I hate this product. Very negative. Here we got a basic sentiment analysis officially done. Let's go. Bert sentiment analysis done. Next video, we're going to deploy this on Akash. We're going to set up an SDL and everything. But this video, now you know how to build an interactive app with an open source AI model and how to build a Docker image out of all that uh, in preparation to run this on Akash.